There's a group of games taking place at this same time. The fixtures for Group A, five groups through the regular season of eight teams, making up the 40 teams in the competition. Game day one in this arena sees the home team delighted to be here. Away past the champions of Belarus, Smoky Minsk, in the qualification rounds. It's their first European campaign in a decade. And what a fantastic occasion to highlight their recent progression as a basketball club. Only promoted back to the top tier of Israeli basketball three seasons ago. Now here they are on opening night of the new Basketball Champions League. And they host a team from Turkey they will certainly be aiming to advance to the playoffs. Spanvit have great continental experience over the course of the last 12 years or so, competing in the Euro Cup the past six seasons and going as far as the semi-finals in that competition. Here's a look at the visiting team roster for this evening. A couple of American Cup champion with the Fraport Skyliners last season, leading the Germans with 14.4 points, 4.6 assists and 1.7 steals per game in that competition. Jeremy Chappelle, another American, who's spent the last six years or so playing in Russia and Ukraine, but arrived at Banvit this summer and had a fantastic day. Roster now, Nahab. Win. Yancey Gates had a big contribution as well, the number four, 14 points in 19 minutes in that game, shooting six of eight from the field, and that was after 13 points, eight boards and three blocks in the first leg in Minsk. Banvit amongst the top teams in a strong Turkish Super League in recent years, and they've started the new campaign in fine form as well. They've beaten big Turkish clubs, Darius Shafaka and Pinar Karsi Yaka in their first two domestic leagues. It'll be a really tough test here. The opening night league is really Irani Nakharia. Looking at the home team, Yancy Gates, the centre, and Gilbert Brown, the forward. Most of their offensive plays. They also have Marquis Teague, who's the brother of Jeff, the Indiana Pacer. He's going to do a, a great job. They're not very much a team. They don't really run up. Need to put their A games against this group of Bambit players. So will be one of the four favourites for the top four spots in this Group A. Looking at Banvit, basically started their project from scratch in the off-season. Slovenian coach Sasha Filipovski building a roster to include players he's familiar with. They're going to rely mainly on their backup, though, as I mentioned, of Jeremy Chappelle and Jordan Theodore, both formerly of Fraport Skyliners, who also compete in this group as well as uh, the Slovenian duo of Edo Muric and Kasper Vidmar. And here we go, here's the introduction for the first time in a European competition in a decade. Maria. as well and Jonathan Skjoldebrand the number 83 there who led the team with 15 points in the first leg qualifying playoff the free game formalities taking place between the Israelis and the Turks be a few nerves 
nerves, I imagine, at this stage for both teams on this big occasion. Perhaps a little more so for the home team. Although maybe they will play like they have nothing to lose. Against the likes of Jordan Theodore, they will need perhaps that kind of attitude. The Europe Cup champion, Fraport Skylanders last season, he's made the move to Banvid, a big move to leave one basketball Champions League club for another. And he started superbly in the Turkish Super League, a tremendous double-double debut, 15 points and 12 assists. That's what he's capable of. Bulls tonight from Poland, Ukraine and Switzerland for this opening basketball Champions League game. Tip as well. Looking at the form of the the opening weeks of the season. Rene Naharia narrowly edging both legs of their qualifying playoff in this competition against Smoky Mints. They won by four in Minsk and then by four here earlier this month. Managed to get away with shooting just 28% from the outside and just 67% from the line in that second leg. They'll have to shoot a little, you imagine. This evening as we see the starting fives for Banvit, we've talked about Vidmar and Muric, about Chappell and Theodore. The other player that makes his way into that starting five is the Lithuanian Gedi Minas Orelik. Lithuanians. before Naharia do like to have a number of players contributing so the starting five won't necessarily be the big five when it comes to the stats at the end of the game but we've talked about the Americans Gilbert Brown and Yancey Gates Stuart Douglas another one in there who scored clutch three pointers home and away in the qualifying playoffs with just seconds to go in both legs of that tie against Minsk Marquez Teague we've talked about as well, the other one is Aran Asante Asare, who makes the starting five for coach Alfasi's team. But this is the final opportunity for the two respective head coaches to come the final instructions across to the players. These the home court fans have been looking forward to this for some time. And there's Jordan Theodore. He will be hoping to be the main man this evening. After his heroics in the FIBA Europe Cup last season. Fantastic debut in the Turkish Super League and now looking to repeat that here in the Basketball Champions League. It's in Greece and Lithuania. Not now the action gets underway in Denmark, Serbia and Croatia. Then later tonight in Italy, France, Belgium and Slovenia. A new era in European basketball begins right here. A new chapter in the recent success stories of these two clubs on the Far East Mediterranean coast. It's Israel against Turkey, Naharia against Banvit, as we tip off the first ever Basketball Champions League. a battle for the opening tip but it's controlled by the home team Naharia forward by Teak moved across to the far side Teak on the ball looking for the first shot of this tournament 
Onto the left hand, then to the right, off the glass, lays it up and in. Good controlled, penetrative start from Marquise Teague. And the first points of the Basketball Champions League scored by Nahariya. Bamvit stopped as well at the other end, so it's a positive start indeed for the home team. Asante Asare. Onto the left hand, across to the far side. He's going to try and make a move in towards the paint. Back out it comes to Yancey Gates. Gates waiting for a bit of movement. Back to Teague it goes. Teague to the far side, looking to step in for the long two. Pulls up and can't hit. Rebound grabs by Orelik. This is Chappelle, the other American, long two for them is short, looks short all the way, and Gates able to grab it, knocked away out of his hands, but it's Nahria Ball. Stuart Douglas on the side. Able to squeeze the pass through in towards Gates. That's a big physical battle inside, and Gates gets the better of it. It's a 4 0 start for the home team. There's a whistle away from the ball. Theodore was making a move around to the far side. This is the bat just before for Yancey Gates. So difficult to deal with in the paint. Bambit inbound, it's a good pass off the baseline and hung up and in for their first score from Chappelle. And it comes from Asante Asare. That's a lovely pass as well, right to the baseline for Teague to finish. And he's made a wonderful start to this competition. Four of Nahariya's six points. Marquis Teague. Up to the corner, they'll drive in down the baseline, the big jam. Just exploding from the corner to finish. Bambit back within two, almost knocked away from Douglas. Now it goes Gates to set the screen. Pick and roll, can't finish off the mid ranger. Theodore. Now, Marich perched, cocked and locked on this near side again. Theodore going to go all the way, found a gap in the defence and gets the finger roll. Bamvit back from four down to level. 6-6 six, six after three minutes. Asante Asare on by... Gilbert Brown to the far side. The three is good. The first from downtown comes from Stuart Douglas. Chappelle onto the right hand and he got caught there by Teague. Jeremy Chappelle, the 29 year old American, who's at Spent time in Russia in the Ukraine. That was the three from Stuart Douglas on the previous offensive possession. Bidmar hands it off now to Theodore. Hasn't really been able to get going just yet, Jordan Theodore. And they go towards the low post. There's a battle to try and get the hook shot away. Gaspar Vidmar was caught. On Yancey Gates. It's a really intriguing battle inside that one between Gates and Vidmar. Gates so physical, 206 centimetres, 6 foot 9. Vidmar, 210 centimetres, 6 foot 11. This is the first foul shot of this tournament for these two, though. Just uh, highlighting there the foul trouble for the home team. They have the lead by three, and still after that second missed free throw, but they have picked up three fouls in the opening three and a half minutes. 
They're attacking again inside, forced up by Asante Asare, and here come Bamvit now at pace, moved out to this near side, the three, Orelik nails it. Back level again. So both sides knocking down a three-pointer now. This is Asante Asare. High post is Yancy Gates, on towards Teague again. Teague prodding and probing back to the number eight and it goes towards Gates again, backing in towards the paint. Able to secure the handle on the ball and the shot right at the end of the shot clock from the corner was no good for Gilbert Brown. Look at this, Yancy Gates delivers to the far side and the f is that a foul? As he releases. Well, Chappelle certainly doesn't think so. And they force them right down to the end of the shot clock as well. That will be hugely disappointing for the Bamvik coaching staff. One of two so far for Gilbert Brown, who's the club's leading scorer over the first two games of the Israeli season. 24 points per game. Just one of three that time. So uh, Naharia by one, 10 to nine. It's uh, three, a couple of feet back from the high post off the mark by Chappelle. We're approaching the midway point of the first quarter. Naharia by one. Brown moving it on towards Gates, knocked away, and it's still going to be Naharia ball. This is Stuart Douglas, who's hit a three already, over the top, out of the double team, and it leaves space for the dunk for Yancey Gates. Yancey Gates doubles his tally. Screen set there by Orelik, who gets it back, looking to fire the three. He was instead trying to fire the pass in towards the low post. It was picked off. And here come Naharia. Gilbert Brown puts it in. The lead has been stretched to five points. And Bamvid are going to call timeout. Maybe the right option was to shoot, not to try and find the pass. The passing lane blocked off. And Naharia taking full advantage on the offensive end. They lead 14 to 9. It's been a really good start in Naharia in Israel for the Basketball Champions League campaign of the home team. They lead one of the Group A favourites, Bamvit, by five points, just over the midway point of the first quarter, led by the four points apiece of Teague and Gates. We talked about them having a number of contributors playing like a team before the opening tip, while well, they've had uh, four scorers on three points or more so far. Yancy Gates had been impressive early on, a couple of assists as well as his four points. Here's Theodore. They're waiting for his opportunity to impress. A bit of uh, posting up, taking place over on the far side of the paint, and that was a lovely jump shot, spinning to face the hoop. So Bamvid off the back of the timeout, back within three. 
Here goes Gates again, and he's fouled this time by Theodore. Jordan Theodore called for his first. Just the second foul for Bamford in this first quarter. And Yancey Gates goes to the line. First trip for the big man to the foul stripe. Not a problem with the first one. 15.5 points, 8.5 rebounds, 1.5 steals and 1.5 blocks per game over the first couple of games in the Israeli season. This is that second one, but they get the offensive rebound. Douglas. And it goes to Gates again, trying to make amends. Lost the handle on the ball, able to recover it. Douglas on the perimeter. From the foul line, space opens up for him and he knocks it down. Career by six is the largest lead of the game. Orelik hands it off to Theodore. Chappelle looking to make a move. Space on this near side of the court now and Theodore's going to fire. Too long, rebound grabbed by Teague. Teague's looking to go coast to coast, put the ball on the floor but couldn't finish off the glass and here come Bamford in transition now, three on two, fast break, out to Oren for three, yes. Second. Bamford halved the deficit to three points. Final three minutes of the first, Stuart Douglas hands it off to Teague. Brown was looking to move inside, Teague with the chance to attack one-on-one -on -one from the perimeter, kicks it out to Brown in the corner. Contested three wouldn't go down, now there's a chance to burst forward again for Bamvit. And there's a foul in transition on Aran Asante Asare. Nip Berkovitz checking into the game, as too is Nick Faust. Sante Asare takes a seat. Talked a bit about Berkovitz leading the team in assists and steals in the Israeli league last season. Nick Faust is uh, another American checking in. He's done well over the first couple of games of the Israeli season. Here goes Theodore, drew the attention of the defence. Open three, no good. Rebound battle involving Brown. And... Uh, Vidmar inside and Brown was able to cling on to it. Minutes and 21 seconds to play in the first quarter. The career of led by as many as six. It's just three now and the decision went against them on that last play. Oh, there's a block from behind from Stuart Douglas right off the inbound pass. Still Bamvit ball though. Vidmar hands it off on the perimeter, then looks to maybe set the screen. Comes back into Vidmar now, posting up against Gates, looking to back him down into the paint. Vidmar turns to the baseline, then back the other way. Chappelle on the perimeter, steps in for the long two, got it away in time and rattles it around and gets it to drop. Bamford have closed the gap to just one. Faust for three. First shot for Nick Faust off the mark. Jordan Theodore, lightning fast crossover. Chappelle knocked away. Can they save it on the baseline? They can, brilliantly into the hands of Berkovitz. Stuart Douglas across to the far side to Gilbert Brown back to Douglas again they move it to this near side into Nick Faust looking to spin towards the paint it's got blocked off by the big defensive wall of Vidmar Theodore Bambit looking to take the lead towards the end of the first quarter Vidmar now looking to do the business on the offensive end knocked away from behind though by Gates here come Naharia it was three on three for a moment. There's the trail from Berkovitz who puts it in. Final minute.
minute of the first quarter. Chappelle. Orelik, another three. Yes, hat trick of threes for Orelik in the first quarter. And Bamvit level from six down. Berkovic lost the ball, recovered by Gates. Lucky break for Naharia here. Douglas. Final 30 seconds. Shot clock down to five towards Gates. Only just clung onto it again. Awkward looking shot, but he was able to get it to go over the top of the defense. Gates with seven points in the first quarter. Right at the end of the first, shot clock turned off. It all pulls up for the long two. Hand in his face, knocks it down. Jordan Theodore, as cool as you like at the end of the first. It's been a very entertaining quarter indeed. We are dead level at 21. So let's hope it continues like this here in the Basketball Champions League. Fantastic entertainment over the first 10 minutes in Naharia. The home side have led by as many as six points. It is now level at 21. Naharia led by the seven points of the big American centre, Yancey Gates, who's also had three assists in the game already and a steal. They've had five points from Douglas too. As we take a look at the breakdown of the main team statistics, Bambit shooting three of six from the outside, all three of those for Geriminas Orelik, the Lithuanian, Naharia with three more assists, and look at the turnovers, four for Bambit, we're running through these stats pretty quickly, and uh, rebounding key for Bambit, 10 to 5 in that first quarter. There goes Yancey Gates. What a performance from him in the first 10 minutes. Three of four from the field. Another point from the line as well. And three assists showing that he can facilitate as well as score from that centre position. Tremendous arc on that last shot just before the end of the quarter. Numbers for Bamvit, 11 points for Orelik. There's Yancey Gates, we've discussed his stat line. He's got a steal as well. He's played the full 10 minutes so far. Orelik, the leading scorer in the game, though, with 11 points. Three of three from downtown, four of four from the field overall, three rebounds, two. He has 11 of Bambit's 21. Here's Gilbert Brown. Able to get it to go. Positive start to the second quarter. Gilbert Brown, who only had one field goal in the whole of the first. Jordan Theodore, who scored right at the end of the first from that similar position. Can't score there, but it was grabbed underneath by Damian Kulig who's come in to start the second, and he got hit as he looked to make his way towards the rim. That's the score at the other end to start the quarter for Gilbert Brown. Brown just one of two from the field in the first quarter, a player who can score big. Kulig, the Polish power forward, Able to knock down his foul shots. And we're level at 23. Tyrone Nash into the game at the start of the second. Moves it across to the far side. Kulig on defence this time against Gates. Back out to Gilbert Brown. Brown adjusted. Couldn't hang in the air long enough and couldn't make the shot. Kulig again. Across to the far side, Kulig free on the perimeter, he's going to fire the three. Big man not afraid to take the big shot. 
chance recovered though by Berkovitz off the boards. Gates now fires it in away from the double team. Open dunk for Faust. Well, Yancey Gates is putting on an offensive clinic and drawing the attention of the defence. Able to score and assist. That's his fourth assist of the game. Blocked from behind by Faust. Big impact at both ends of the court from him. Here they go again. Back to back dunks. Gilbert Brown brings the house down. Bambit timeout. Back to back dunks has given Naharia a four point lead. Tremendous contributions from Faust, Brown and Gates, the three Americans. Faust with a dunk and an assist, Brown with a dunk. And Yancey Gates has been doing it all, all game long. You can see the leaders for Bambit there. Orelik with 11, Chappelle with four, Theodore with four. But they trail by four at the moment to their hosts. They were led by the seven points apiece now of Brown and Gates. And Gilbert Brown, who had just three points in the whole of the first quarter, has four in the opening seconds of the second. Stuart Douglas with five, Marquise Teague with four. And that's the moment of the game, the moment of the tournament. One of the moments of the season so far in this arena for Naharia. Despite all of that optimism, it is only a four-point game, though. Jordan Theodore, as skilled as anybody in trying to get Bambit back. Chappelle. On it goes towards Kulig. Kulig backing in, one on one, edge of the paint, trying to turn towards the baseline, and there was contact. You can tell what Gilbert Brown thinks of it. Non shooting foul, so Bambit will inbound. With Theodore. Chan Maxi Mutaf into the game. Hands it off to Theodore. Kulig trying to make a nuisance of himself on the edge of the perimeter. It goes back from Theodore to the far side. And there's another foul, this time on Tyrone Nash. <laughs> Stuart Douglas has had a positive impact on the game, comes in to replace Gilbert Brown. And uh, Brown gets the appreciation of the home fans. Three of five from the field for seven points, two assists as well, but he's picked up two fouls now, so he'll take a seat. Theodore on the left hand, driving in, flips it onto the right and puts it in off the glass. Danger for Naharia if Jordan Theodore gets going. Chappelle comes up with a steal. And throws it away to Faust, Faust adjusting, puts it in. Nick Faust with his athleticism is having a very positive impact indeed for Naharia right now. They lead by four again. Chappelle around Kulig. Kulig moving inside. Chappelle across to the far corner. He's going to fire the three and he's going to hit the three from that far corner. Another one. Geddy Minas Orelik, four of four from downtown. Bamvit within one. Douglas. Douglas in towards the baseline to Nash. Nash backing in, turns away from Chappelle, but he was off balance as he tried to throw it up. He thinks he was fouled. The play goes on. Theodore passed into Kulig. Hesitation puts it in. And Bamvit have taken the lead for the first time in a long time. And that's going to force coach Shalfassi to call a timeout for Naharia. Theodore, the facilitator this time. Kulig cool and composed in the paint. And Bambit lead 30 to 29.
It's been a positive start indeed to this tournament in this arena for the home court team, although Bambit have weathered the storm. They've stuck with Naharia close to them all the way, trailed by six points. But now they lead. And they lead behind the 14 points of Gedi Minas Orelik, who's five of five from the field, four of four from downtown. 14 points in 13 minutes on court. Aside from his huge contribution, six points for Jordan Theodore now, three of five from the field, as well as a couple of assists, and four points for Jeremy Chappelle. And it goes to the far side to Douglas, who fires it in. Faust off the glass. Nick Faust is having some impact. Naharia lead again. It's just a couple of field goals for Faust, but he's come up with some other big plays on the offensive and defensive ends. Theodore splits the defence, puts it up mid-range, pops out, and the rebound secured just about on the baseline for Skjolderbrand. This is Berkovitz. On it goes to Nash. Nash looking to attack one-on-one. -on -one. Creates a little bit of room and banks it in. Tyrone Nash. That's his first score of the Basketball Champions League. Jordan Theodore. There's movement from Chappelle. Guarded by the athletic and energetic Faust. That's a lovely finish for a Mutaf. As he looked to just roll it. With the fingers, he got the wrong side of the defence as far as Naharia are concerned. Faust back to Berkovitz. Faust making a move in towards the paint. Berkovitz just held up the pass. Skjolderbrandt. Berkovitz again, looking to get between two. Out to Nash, the long two. Wouldn't quite go off the hop. Theodore. A little shimmy dribble and out to Kulig, the big man has taken on a couple of long rangers, missed both of them now. Across the midway point of the second quarter. Faust, Schilderbrand driving to the baseline, back out to the perimeter, they move it to the corner, open three, brilliant ball movement from Naharia. And Stuart Douglas knocks it down. Well, it might be four of four from downtown, but Douglas is threatening to catch him up, two of two. Here is Orelik, moved on into the hands of Kulig, it was fizzed in. Look at this ball movement, Skjolderbrand driving to the baseline, moved on by Berkovitz to the corner. Douglas putting the exclamation mark on the pretty offence. Naria by four points, four minutes and 19 to go in the first half. Tyrone Nash taking a seat there, Yancy Gates is in the game, a game for Naharia. Bambit making changes too. Now goes the game's leading scorer, Gidiminas Orelik. Mutaf back to Kulig, this is Theodore. Kulig setting the screen, Theodore going around, Kulig, open lane, and he's able to take off. And it's been an extremely close first half. Teague looking to attack, straight back in the game, can't finish, recovered underneath by the lightning fast Theodore, and he's looking to go coast to coast, across to the far side, the three. Not that time, and a good rebound for Douglas. Although there was a bump underneath the hoop, Schilderbrand looking a little confused. There's the jam for Damian Kulig. 
Gambit get the trip to the line and a chance to tie here. First one good for Metahan Akiel, the 20 year old Turkish power forward. There's plenty of young talent in this Gambit team. Second one short, grabbed by Faust. He's the last man you want the ball to end up in the hands off because he's so quick down court. And he's saying he got fouled on the shot, but as he was stopped on half court, I'm not so sure that was the case. But the first foul of the quarter on Bambit. Now Haria have already picked at five. So Faust just to inbound to Gates. Across to Douglas on the far side. Gates wanted it back. It goes the other way. Now it goes into Gates. Up against Kulig one on one. Looking to back in. Edge of the paint. Turns to face the basket. Kulig, great defense that time from the pole. Three and a half to play in the half. Nahoria. By as many as six, now lead by one. Yancey Gates had a, a little while sat on the bench. Maria were still able to keep their lead just about in that period. Damian Kulig is at the line here and able to get Banvit level. Kulig makes both of them, and that's eight points now for him in this first half off the bench. Eight points in only around six and a half minutes. Bambit lead. Faust. Faust for three. There's a rebound for Kulig. And a bit of a let off for Bambit. No offensive pressure mounting on them. Mutlu, Kulig, hands it off to Muric, just a feeling that Bamford is starting to seize the momentum now, and they are especially after that one. Mutaf from the outside, adjusted so quickly to knock it down. Teague. Teague looking to drive into the paint, bounce pass behind the back, it goes to Faust. They've called that last one a two. Here's Teague out to shoulder brand for three. Yes! And the defender coming out to greet him on the perimeter, but he got it away in time. And he was unfazed. We are dead level again. 39-39. Two and a half to play in the first half. Here goes Mutlu. Out to the big man again. Couldn't make it third time. Lucky from the outside, Kulik. Here goes Teague. Teague one way, then the other. And he's fouled before he can penetrate the paint. That's the pass from Teague out to the perimeter to Skjolderbrand. Really good vision from Marquis Teague. First assist of the game. Damian Kulig takes a seat. Gaspar Vidmar, starting centre, comes back in. Teague. Well, that wasn't a good pass to Skjolderbrand and a backcourt violation against Naharia. previous assist for that three. The same two players couldn't link up that time. Motlu to Vidmar. Vidmar hands it off now to Mutaf. Mutaf waiting for movement that comes in the form of Muric. Vidmar looking to hand it back off on the perimeter. And this is going to go Bambit's way. And you can tell that Naria not very happy with it at all. Let's see, who did this come off last? Well, you can see what Stuart Douglas thinks about the call. <laughs> Douglas is going to take a seat, having picked up the foul. I think there 
might be the third on Stuart Douglas. We'll have to confirm that. And again, Naharia over the foul limit, so Bambit to the line. And Chan Maxi Mutaf, 25 year old Turk, able to score the first. gets both so Bamvit lead by three I'm not so sure they've led by any more than three at any stage in this first half Sante Asare shoulder brands bounce pass in towards the paint Faust was trying to kick it back out and was fouled foul is on Edo Muric Two Slovenians playing under the Slovenian coach. Emotions at a high on the court and on the benches. Faust knocked away as he just ran into a horde of green shirts. Here come Bambert again, really building momentum now. And their lead is stretched to five. Largest lead of the game for them as Edo Muric finishes off the fast break. And Naharia called timeout. bit 44 Naharia 39 at the timeout in the second quarter and there's a look at the assist leaders Yancy Gates we've talked about his scoring and facilitating ability they've got three assists from Stuart Douglas as well the home team Yancy Gates's influence on the game has dried up though over the last few minutes who've started scoring more freely over the closing moments of this second quarter the timeout call for Naharia to try and help them find a route back in and just to uh, go into that break with uh, a little bit more momentum they will have been the second favourites here they don't want any heads to drop Tyrone Nash hands it off to Berkovitz. Berkovitz back onto the right hand. Across to the far side, Asante Asare putting the ball on the floor. Back out to Berkovitz, steps into a group of green shirts again, and this time there's a foul. It's on the 20 year old Akiel by the looks of it. Non shooting foul, so Naharia inbound. Third team foul. The quarter for Bamvit, one minute and three seconds to play until the half. Nash turning towards the baseline, and there's another foul. And this time on the shot, so to the line goes Tyrone Nash. Jordan Theodore has six points and four assists in the game so far. Seated on the bench at the moment, as to his. Uh, Gilbert Brown for the home team. Seven points, two assists. Yes. It's Tyrone Nash at the line. Able to hit the first. Ten points in 18 minutes in the second leg of their qualifying yes. playoff. Tyrone Nash, he was four of five from the field. And that was after coming close to a double double in the first leg. Eight points, ten rebounds. And he's hit a, a couple of big foul shots here. It's a three-point game again. That's ricocheted away off Akial, who wasn't quite anticipating it. Final minute of the second quarter. Naharia with a chance to close the gap. And they've trailed by five. Picked off, though, the pass from Berkovic. He gets it back. Nash onto the far side. Here's Nash again looking to attack. And he got hit by uh, the big Gaspar Vidmar. 
Bamford have picked up three team fouls in just the last 45, 50 seconds or so, after just two in the opening eight and a half minutes of this second quarter. So over the foul limit now, Tyrone Nash at the line again. Yes. Twenty-seven seconds remaining of the half. Nash four of four from the line. And it's become a very close game again, and it's become a time for Jordan Theodore to be introduced to the action. Theodore looking to run the offense in the final seconds, just a, a couple of seconds differential between shot and game clock at the end of the second. Bamfit by one, Theodore will take as long as he possibly can. Through the legs, on the left hand, forward towards the corner of the paint, back out for three, yes! Right at the end of the quarter. And that one wasn't too far away either, I'm not sure it would have counted or not for Asante Sare, but a big three-pointer for Bamfit, almost at the buzzer in the second quarter. And what a big quarter for them, 26 points as they lead Naharia 47 to 43. And this has been a very high scoring, very entertaining contest in Israel on game day one of the new Basketball Champions League. Banvit's strong favorites, perhaps to win this one and to, to progress as one of the four teams from Group A. Although Naharia led for large parts of that first half Played very well indeed on home court. Yancey Gates, the standout performer, seven points and four assists, but they spread the scoring around. Just look at the three-point shooting, though, of Banvit. Four of four from downtown is Gediminas Orelik, the Lithuanian. Four of those six Banvit threes. And they're ahead in the battle on the boards as well. Although Naharia with six steals to two. Not much difference in terms of the bench points. But in terms of the fast break points, a five point advantage for Banvit. Coming off those uh, extra defensive rebounds. And it will take a look as well at the game leaders for the two respective teams. There has been some standout performances. I've talked about uh, Yancey Gates already for the home team and Gediminas Orelik for the away team. And they've done a really good job of spreading the scoring around. And Teague attacking there, the player who's contributed with four points. They've had seven as well from Gates and Gilbert Brown. And six points from Nash, who came in in that second quarter, having not played in the first. This is the pass inside towards Teague, his second field goal. But leading the way for Naharia, eight points for Stuart Douglas, although he's also picked up three fouls in that first half. Big rejection that time to deny Jordan Theodore. Theodore on six points in the first half of three of six shooting, but five assists running the offense for Bambit. That was a big three for Stuart Douglas for Naharia. Leading scorer in the game is Orelik with those 14 points. Four of four from downtown, that one of them there for the Lithuanian, five of five from the field altogether. Bambit also have eight points from the pole, Damian Kulig, who came into the game late on. This was a fast break, allowing Gilbert Brown to score for Naharia. Seven points as well for Edo Muric for Bambit. There's another three from their sharpshooter, Gediminas Orelik. And then Chappelle, the other American, who started positively, but uh, finished the half with just four points. Berkovic came in for Naharia off the bench and uh, was able to contribute as well. But Orelik, the story of the first half for Bamvit. Four of four from downtown. Yates with his physical presence inside. Will it be a case of whether he can put in that kind of performance in the second half and dominate or will the likes of Jordan Theodore and Jeremy Chappelle 
and Gediminas Orelik start to take over for Bamvit after they've built a bit of momentum. We'll find out in a few minutes' time. It's a tantalising second half in prospect here on game day one of the FIBA Basketball Champions League in Israel. It's Aroni Naharia, 43, the Turkish side Bamvit, 47.
Welcome back to the Naharia City Hall from me, Tim Long, the new horizon in European basketball well and truly underway in the Basketball Champions League on game day one. It's a fascinating contest here in Israel. Irani Naharia, the home team trailing by just four against Turkish team Banvit, 47 to 43, the score in favour of the Turks. And they're led by the 14 points of uh, the number 10, Geliminas Orelik, the Lithuanian, who's five of five from the field, four of four from downtown. The only player in double figures in the game so far, but Bambit also have eight points from the big pole off the bench, Damian Kulig. Seven points apiece for Mutaf and for Muric. And for Naharia, eight points for Stuart Douglas leading the way, seven points for the impressive Yancey Gates, who's also got four assists, seven for his fellow American Gilbert Brown, and six for one of the other Americans on that team, Tyrone Nash, all those six coming in the second quarter off the bench. This is the story of the half, though. The outside shooting of Gilly Minas Orelik. From either side of the court, it's been raining threes for the Lithuanian. Just wonder if he can continue that hot hand in the second half. Bamford have started to wrestle a bit of the momentum back in their favour after Naharia kept them at bay for large parts of that first half. And then you see the stat line for Orelik, 14 points, three rebounds, four of four from downtown. He's hit one inside from just the one attempt as well. The concern for Naharia will be that they were firing on all cylinders early on, buzzing from being back in European competition, but their uh, momentum just started to wane slightly, and Bamvit had a slow start from the likes of Jordan Theodore and uh, Jeremy Chappelle. And from Gaspar Vidmar, for that matter. His team have started to get going now, though. Coach Filipovsky. They will come out more positive at the start of the third quarter. And they lead by four. Their lead has been as many as five. Naharia's largest lead has been six. And it's Bamford who start with the ball and look to attack and look to stretch their lead right at the start. And inside goes Orelik. And that's his first miss of the game, having hit his first five shots, as we were just discussing. Gilbert Brown. Here's Teague, Brown jostling for position on the edge of the paint. Teague switches it onto the left hand, onto the right, back onto the left. Got to find a way through the defence, it's knocked away and uh, out of bounds beyond the baseline. Still Naharia ball. Teague looking to inbound. It's Tyrone Nash who got free, back to Teague on the far side. It's a long three-pointer right at the buzzer 
from way beyond the setting sun for Tyrone Nash. I beg your pardon, it was Mark, Marcus Teague with the three. And Teague has seven points, his first from the outside. Chappelle, Chappelle going to try and answer back with the three. Too long that time, offensive board though for Vidmar. Vidmar puts the ball on the floor. Gates was caught facing the wrong way. Able to hold his position, they move it around brilliantly to the far corner. Another three off the mark, another rebound, Vidmar. And this time he's hit inside. Well, this was Marquis Teague. A couple of feet back beyond the three point line. Right at the end of the shot clock. Teague now three of five from the field. That was his first attempt from the outside. Foul shot off the mark for the Slovenian centre, Kasper Vidmar. Vidmar yet to score. Has been one of Bambit's key players in recent times. And he's still yet to score, would you believe? Misses both from the foul line. They recover the ball on the baseline, though, and they keep it inbounds. Moritz hands it off to Theodore. Difficult start to life in the Basketball Champions League for this man. Here he goes. Grabs his own rebound again and finally dunks it in. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Gaspar Vidmar. Finally gets his first point. Says Gates at the other end, can't hit. Having to try and step back off the baseline. Bamvit by three. It's a three that doubles the lead. Jeremy Chappelle. So Bamvit now have their largest lead of the night at six. Here's Teague, who hit a three not too far ago from that position. About where he is now. Nash looking to move back inside. Teague goes one on one in towards the paint. Vidmar defended excellently. Then Nash was trying to grab it, couldn't reel it in off the deck. And here come Bamvit again. Orelik. Missed opportunity for Naharia. Great defence though from Gaspar Vidmar. He was looking to receive the ball inside again on that occasion, but it's picked off by Nash. All a little bit feisty and frantic at the moment. It breaks kindly on the perimeter for the three. Offensive rebound for Gates. And it goes towards Nash again, and this time he gets the score. Tyrone Nash with a big basket for Naharia because it was back and forth. The pendulum swinging both ways and had the next points gone to Bamvit, it would have been largest lead of the game for either team. Theodore, quick crossover again, attacks the paint and puts it in off the glass against Yancey Gates. Bamvit back up by six. Teague. Across to the far side, the three for Douglas. Stewart Douglas, three of three from the outside. And he's catching Orelik up now. Four of four from the field, but three of three from downtown. Three point game. Here goes Muric, kicks it out. Here is Orelik. Orelik into the paint this time, across to Muric, high catch. Readjusts for the three-point shot, had to get it away. It was right at the end of the shot clock, and that's great defense for Naharia. The shot nowhere near the basket. The pass across to him from Orelik was off the mark, so he had to readjust. And that's a shot clock violation against the Turks. Teague. Naharia looking to close the gap further onto the left hand. Spots a gap in the defence. Great finish from Marquis Teague, who's starting to take control of this third quarter.
Theodore creates room on the perimeter and nails the three. Jordan Theodore. Theodore hitting his first from the outside, having missed his first two attempts. Tyrone Nash to the far side, another three off the mark for the first time from downtown for Stuart Douglas. He'd hit each of his previous three attempts. Midway point of the third, four-point Bambit lead. A chance to extend that here with Theodore attacking again and the foul will go on Gilbert Brown. Brown picks up foul number three. So Brown joins Douglas on three fouls. Akiel the only player on three fouls for Bamvit. Theodore again, back out, three-pointer, Mutaf knocked away. Douglas, free down court, open jam. Well, they just refuse to let them get away. Naharia, they're back within two of Banvit. And they look like a team that, especially here on home court, could ruffle some feathers in Group A of the Basketball Champions League. Gates trying to come up with the ball. Theodore lost it, recovered by Chappelle. Defence broken now as Vidmar tries to take advantage and he gets hit on his route to the rim and will go to the line for two. The foul is on Tyrone Nash. That was the attempted pass that was picked off from Chan Maxi Mutaf, leaving the open dunk for Douglas. Coach not happy. A missed free throw for his team from Gaspar Vidmar, who's having a tricky night. Able to get that one to go. He'd missed his first four attempts. In fact, I think his first five attempts. He's only got three points, Vidmar. Yancey Gates, another assist for him. And Stuart Douglas, the leading scorer for Naharia, gets them back within touching distance. Yancey Gates, seven points and seven assists now he's threatening to record a double double on his basketball Champions League debut and put in by Stuart Douglas who now has 13 points number of defensive based teams in this group A eh? but this is all guns blazing offense on opening night from Naharia and Bambit they have both scored over 20 points in each quarter so far and both on course to do so again here in the third 58 to 57 is the lead for Bambit You can see on the scoreboard, two players in double figures for Bamvit. But Douglas in double figures for Naharia and getting them back within one. Douglas six of eight from the field, three assists and two blocks as well. Three of four inside, three of four from downtown. Bamvit on the ball. Looking to maintain their lead, Vidmar calling for it inside, it goes across to the far side instead to Chappelle, and Chappelle able to put it over the top of the defence. Teague, Stuart Douglas, he's got the hot hand right now, Yates coming across to set the screen, Nash 2, 
And across it goes to Douglas again. Yancey Gates again to the baseline. They move it around. Teague steps in, hangs it over the top of the defence. It was nice ball movement from Naharia. But Teague unable to make the shot. And here come Bambit quickly. It's three at all for three. Rebound, Vidmar. Hesitation. Can't put it in. And a difficult night continues for Gaspar Vidmar. And he's called for the foul there. After missing the shot, it was a good rebound. But he has struggled from the field. Douglas in towards the foul line, across the gates. Yancey Gates maybe looking to go one on one with Vidmar here. Into the paint, knocked away. And they can't recover it as uh, Sante Asare tried to grab the ball. Some tough defence being played at the moment. And uh, both offences have just slowed down for the time being. Looking at Gaspar Vidmar's numbers, it's uh, one of four from the field, one of six from the line now for the big Slovenian. Theodore onto the left hand, moves it across. Here's Orelic, danger on the perimeter when he's got the ball in his hands. Can't hit that one. Theodore again, offensive rebound. Across to the near side to Chappelle. Chappelle into Vidmar and a foul this time on Yancey Gates. A shake of the head from the big American, who's not scored, by the way, since uh, early on in the second, I believe. Sometime without a score for him, but he does have seven assists. He's added three of those here in the third quarter. Theodore off the baseline to the far side, the three short, rebound grabbed by Faust. There's a whistle away from the ball, and the foul is on Orelic. Bambit by three, two minutes and ten seconds remaining in the third. Non-shooting foul, so Naharia will inbound from the far side with Faust. 23-year-old American, who had a good impact on the second quarter. Nash calling for the ball, it goes the other way instead to Berkovitz. Berkovitz puts the ball on the floor around Gates, Gates moving into the centre, Berkovitz high to Gates who puts it in. It looked like the pass was going to be too high but Yancey Gates towered over the defence. That's his first score in a long, long time. Chappelle back to Theodore, guarded by Berkovitz. Around the frame of Kulig. And knocked away and out of bounds on this near side, but it's still Bamvit ball. Jordan Theodore has crept up to 11 points. It's been uh, an under the radar 11 points for him. Certainly nothing been under the radar about Yancey Gates' performance. Here's Theodore again. He's also got six assists. Looking to attack this time. Denied. And here come Naharia. In transition, Gilbert Brown, Faust. He got caught on the perimeter by Orelic, who takes a foul for the team. Who got a piece of that? And there were two of them that Theodore was attacking. That's five blocks in the game for Naharia to Bambit's one. Berkovitz towards the foul line, meanders his way to the baseline and can't hit. Awkward shot with the right arm. Theodore. Across to Orelik. Kulig calling for it, it goes the other way. This is Mutaf, Mutaf into the paint, left hand, soft touch, good finish. Final minute to the third. Asante Asare for three, short. 
Here comes Chappelle and fouled by Berkowitz. Well, Sante Asare, 0 of 3 from the field now, is yet to score. And uh, given his form in the early parts of this competition, in the early parts of the Israeli season, perhaps that was an ill advised three. Bamvit straight down the other end, and Chappelle goes to the line. Out goes Jordan Theodore. For the final seconds of the third quarter. Desante Sare out of the game as well. Jeremy Chappelle looking to get to double figures and does. Bambit's lead is four points, 40 seconds of the third to play. Berkovitz across to Brown, Brown for three. Faust athletic rebound, able to cling onto it on the baseline, now looking to attack, and he's fouled by Kulig. Such an athletic rebound from Nick Faust. He's got six points, Faust, he's scrapped four rebounds now and had two steals and a block in 13 minutes on court. He certainly played his part and he's provided much needed energy at times off the bench. Schulderbrand, difficult shot, got it to go on the turn. Jonathan Schulderbrand. Two point game again, final seconds of the third. Screen set by Kulig. Around him goes Mutlu. Mutlu into the paint, got away, got the foul and got the basket as well. Tremendous play from Mertan Mutlu. Look at this, away from two or three. He got contact and he was still able to finish. Well, that really is brilliant play from the 22-year-old Turk. He's not had too many opportunities on court this evening, but he certainly made the most of that one before missing the foul shot. And they've got to get it away here right at the end of the third. It's thrown up by Bamvit. Nahariya unable to get the final shot of the third quarter off. And uh, the lowest scoring quarter so far, 18 apiece. The four-point half-time lead for Bamvit remains at the end of three, 65 to 61. Well, this has been a close game throughout on game day one of the Basketball Champions League. It's been a single-digit game throughout. Momentum just shifted in favour of Bambit towards the end of the second half and they've been able to maintain their four-point lead, but in this sport that is nothing. Easily overturned, quickly overturned. They're in the better position, no doubt, going into the fourth quarter. But uh, Naharia with these Israeli fans behind them, they've got every chance of pulling off an upset on opening night. The leading scorer in the game is Stuart Douglas now for Naharia. 15 points, three of four inside, three of four from downtown. And you can see Naharia catching up Bamvet a little bit in terms of that three-point shooting. And there's a look at some of the other statistics. Three extra turnovers for Bamvet. Naharia moving the ball better with those extra assists. Very even in terms of the bench scoring. But Bamvit doing some damage on the fast break and with those offensive rebounds, getting those second chance opportunities. And we've seen the technical qualities that both sets of players have, the skill sets of 
some of their star players, the likes of Yancey Gates, Gilbert Brown, Jordan Theodore, Kiliminas Orelik, and uh, Jeremy Chappelle, but it's as much now about mental attributes as it is about technical ones. Ten minutes separates either one of these two teams from a win on an historic night in European basketball, the first game day of the Basketball Champions League. Skjoldebrand on to Gates. Gates looking to back in. Starting the fourth quarter strongly, but he's denied by Orelik. Here come Bamvit, quickly down court. Just taking his time is Mutlu, who had that pretty play at the end of the third. Mutlu receives it back from Mutaf. Mutlu fizzed out to Kulig. Kulig, the pass inside, and Gates put up a big defensive frame. Here's Brown, across to Berkovitz again, Gates making a move, Berkovitz across to the far side against Kulig, shot clock down to the final few seconds here, this is Gilbert Brown, they need to get a shot away, it's a long two, and it's grabbed by Kulig the rebound, and Naharia just couldn't get an open look that time. Mutlu. Now to Kulig, he's shot quite a few from that position, but he resists the temptation this time. And there's a foul called against Gilbert Brown. It's just gone a bit quiet in this arena. The fans perhaps a little nervy, the position they find themselves in. They don't want that to transfer across to the players. Mutlu, he's going to shoot it this time, the big man. He won't hit it though. Berkovitz able to grab the rebound. Still no score in the fourth. Gates up against Kulig. Out it goes to Brown. Brown to the foul line and he got fouled and he put it in. It's not going to count. Naharia desperate for that one to count. Gilbert Brown. Did so well to adjust, he got bumped there just before and got the shot away. It's called a non-shooting foul, Faust for three, oh he hits it! They won't get the chance for a three-point play but they'll take the four-point play opportunity. Nick Faust, the three and the foul. Bang! And he completes the four-point play. We are level at 65 with eight minutes to play. Double figures now for Faust. And Faust the steal. Here he goes. Can't grab the ball. Chappelle able to recover. Across to the far side. They're a man short on defense now. Hung over the top of Gates. And that's far easier said than done. Great execution. Berkovitz, Bamvit by two, here goes Brown now, Gates making a move, it goes the other way, Berkovitz, it's Kjolderbrand, Pirouette in the paint, finds Gates now, Gates trying to go one on one, shot clock down to the final second, over the top of the defence won't go for Gates. What a fantastic final seven minutes we've got in store here. Back out to the perimeter, it goes to Kulig. And then there's a foul as Mutaf grabbed the ball, it's on Gilbert Brown. It's foul number four on Brown, so he's dangling by a thread. And that would be a key loss for Naharia. And that was a key agonising loss of the ball for Nick Faust. Especially because Bamvit took advantage at the other end, Faust had come up with a steal. Couldn't grab the handle on the ball. Mutlu. Out to Kulig. Kulig inside. Split the defence. Left with a simple layup. Bamvit double the lead to four. Naharia 
got themselves back from four down with that four-point play from Faust. They trail by four again. Stuart Douglas across to Berkovitz and then to the far side to Faust again. Looked like he might have got hit once more. Six and a half minutes to play. Bambit looking to stretch their lead with Mutlu. Kulig causing a nuisance of himself on the perimeter. Mutlu clings onto it to the baseline, back out to the outside. They'll step into the paint, knocked away by Faust again. Recovered though. Orelik had it knocked away in a foul. And it goes the other way against Gediminas Orelik. And he just lost the ball. And the fans trying to get back onside for their team now. It had started to grow a, a little bit tense in this arena. Quick three, short, rebound grabbed by Orelik. And the Haria need to stay cool and composed. Difficult to do so in this situation. Mutlu. Chappelle. Chappelle finding Kulig. Great cut to the basket. He's had a big night, Damian Kulig. Faust to Skjoldebrand. Yancey Gates. Berkovitz. To the far side it goes. Looking to attack is Douglas, leading scorer for the home team. Berkovitz. Oh, rejection from Kulig. Doing it at both ends of the floor. What a night for Damian Kulig. 12 points. Five rebounds and then the big block. Having just scored at the other end. We've got a timeout as we approach the midway point at the final quarter on opening night of the Basketball Champions League. It's Bambit who have the edge. Two players in double figures for the home team. The 15 points for Douglas, 10 now for Faust. Four, though, in double figures for Bambit, led by the 14 of Orelik. All of those in the first half. 12 points for Kulig. 10 for Chappelle. 11 for Theodore. Teague. No, he hit it, but it doesn't count. So right on the midway point of the fourth, it's Bambit by six and a chance to extend that lead now. Chappelle goes to this side to Murich for three, short. Grabbed by Chappelle, Murich again attacking the rim, fouled by Gates. Big offensive rebound for Bambit, especially at this stage if they start to grow their lead towards the double figure mark. And that would be a huge concern for Naharia. Norwich has a chance to make it an eight-point game here. The Slovenian international able to hit the first. The player they signed from Partizan in the summer. He's adjusted well to life in Turkey. Hits them both. Eight points, the Bambit lead. Into the final minutes, there was contact off the ball. 
No whistle. Gates across to Faust on the far side. Another three too long over the top of the backboard. Grabbed by Bambit. Theodore, if they score here, then Naharia have real problems. Chappelle, Kulig, Murich calling for it, receives the ball. Kulig, low post, foul, and the basket. And a chance at a three point play for Damian Kulig. It's the first double digit lead of the game, and Bamvid is starting to pull away. Damian Kulig has had some night. And that's 14 points now for him, as well as five rebounds and a block. And the chance to add an extra point from the line. Unable to do so, but it still remains largest lead of the game at 10. There is time for Naharia, but they really need to get going in this fourth quarter. Teague. Well, the defence took him all the way and he just about got a touch of a Bambit player. Naharia able to remain in possession, only just. They could really do with an offensive conversion here and Nash can't give them one. Try to get it away straight away off the inbound pass, Tyrone Nash. Jordan Theodore. The crowd has gone dead quiet now. Theodore controlling the tempo. And he got hit there. And then with just three minutes and 47 seconds to play, Jordan Theodore will look to manage the game clock, dictate the tempo, slow it down, and get his team and his coach closer and closer towards that first basketball Champions League win. Now Haria over the foul limit, so Theodore at the line. And he's able to stretch the lead. Well, their class has shown in this second half. Both good for Jordan Theodore. The lead is 12. And Naharia needs some offense quickly. Teague across to this near side to Douglas. Hit three from downtown earlier in the game. Trying to find room away from Gates. Across to the far side it goes. Good defense from Bamford as a team here. The mid-ranger on the money for Douglas. How badly they needed that one. Still a 10-point game, though. Theodore able to get away, grabs the ball. Murich was free, but there's that composure from Jordan Theodore. He just clings onto it and looks to take those precious seconds off the game clock. Shot clock down to six. And there's a foul. It's uh, on Asante Asare. That's just a sign of Jordan Theodore's game management and his maturity and that he didn't give the ball up for a quick offence there. He clung on to it. Trying to take the wind out of Naharia's sails after that shot from Douglas. And clinging on to the ball, Jordan Theodore was able to waste a few more seconds and draw some contact and get back to the foul line. Hadn't got to the line all evening until the last few seconds. A look at that stat line now. Three of three from the foul line. Five of 12 from the field for those 14 points. Five rebounds, six assists. And to add one more, 14 points, 15 points in the game. Bamvit by 12, final three minutes. It's starting to look like Mission Impossible for Naharia. Douglas for three. Well, that might have given them a prep. Theodore with the rebound, and he's 
making the big plays, the composed plays now down the stretch. Kulik, who's had a big game setting the screen, gets it back, hands it off. Again, they'll run the shot clock right down to the final seconds. Theodore, six seconds to work with as he moves it on. Backing in, they need to get a shot away. Orelik over the top of the defence, can't hit. Rebound grabbed by Asante Asare. Now the quick offence needed for Naharia, and there's a foul in transition. And it's on Gediminas Orelik. He was the story of the first half. With that four of four outside shooting. The story of the second half, you'd probably have to say, is Damian, Orelik, uh, Damian Kulig, I beg your pardon. With his 14 points in the game, five rebounds, made some really big plays, including that one big block on the defensive end. Here's Teague trying to attack the pole now. Across to the far side to Faust. Three-pointer good for Nick Faust. He's second from that far side, and maybe it's not over yet. Nine-point game, final two minutes. Again, Theodore will slow it down to walking pace. Kulig going to set the screen. Theodore around him. Back out to Kulig. He'll fire the three. Short. They need the rebound and they've got it with Faust. Now he's quick down court. On it goes to Yancey Gates. Big block of game from Kulig. No way past the pole. Well, that is a block that should... Just about seal this win for Banvit. He's had two big denials on defence. And he's had a big contribution on offence too. Theodore the three. Batted away. Offensive board. Another three. And the tip wouldn't go either, but there is a foul. Well, had Kulig not made that block, we would have been looking at a seven-point game with still perhaps a minute and 20 seconds to play. Now all of a sudden, a minute and three to play and Bamvit should have their double-digit lead back again with Jeremy Chappelle at the line. Chappelle one of four in double figures. He's had a good all-round game. Seven assists, six rebounds, two steals and now 12 points. And the timeout call with a minute and change remaining. Banvit by 11, 81 to 70. Just looking at some of the numbers, rebounds have killed Naharia. They have been out rebounded 41 to 26. And Bamford have shot 65% inside and survived a 29% shooting game from the outside. Bamford, despite that heroic first half performance from Orelik, who was 4 of 4 from the outside. But have got a great deal of experience in continental competition over the last decade or so. They've competed in the Euro Cup in each of the last six seasons, made it all the way to the semi-final in 2015. Also reached the semi-final of the FIBA Europe Cup back in 2004-2005. They were the favourites coming into this one and they are, it seems, going to get over the line for that first win in the new Basketball Champions League. It's going to be a difficult one to take for Naharia. Theodore. Looking to get away from Faust, across to the far side. And the foul called there is on Teague. Well, there'll be some teams in this Group A that come here and have a tough night. Coach Filipovsky and his team have dealt well with 
the weapons that Nahariya have thrown at them especially the big frame of Yancey Gates who really did the damage in the first quarter they were able to just weather his impact they've kept Gilbert Brown relatively quiet Douglas has had the best shooting night for Nahariya and able to cling onto the ball on the baseline there rather than being spectacular Bamvid have had stat lines for a group of players that have slowly crept up Kulig one of them can't hit that time they've been consistent they've executed well and they lead by 13 now and it's Bamvit who win on opening night in the basketball champions league they come from as many as six down to win by 13 against Dironi Naharia, 83 to 70, with four players in double figures, led by the 16 of Gedi Minas Orelik, who was four of four from downtown in the first half. 15 as well for that man, Jordan Theodore, who had six assists and six rebounds. 16 for Orelik leading the way, but 14 from Kulig, who had a big second half to add to the first half story of Orelik. And there you see the final score, Bambit 83, Naharia 70. And a look at some of the numbers. Well, getting to the line, Bamvit there almost three times as much as Naharia. And the rebounding battle I was talking about, 42 to 28, it ended up in Bamvit's favour. Points in the paint. And bench points relatively even, but almost double the fast break points for Bamvit. And there's the leaders in terms of points. Stuart Douglas, leading scorer in the game for Naharia, but for them there was just a couple of players in double figures. Four for Bamvit, led by that 16 for Orelik. Seven assists for Yancey Gates, the centre able to facilitate as well as his nine points. It looked at one stage like he might be on for a double-double. Jeremy Chappelle with seven points, or seven assists rather, for Bamvit as well. Had a good all-round game. Eight rebounds and 12 points. But uh, the story, as I mentioned, of that second half was uh, Damian Kulig, the pole, 14 points, five rebounds and two big blocks. They were, really were big blocks because they came at such an important time when Naharia were building momentum. And the majority of his scoring coming in the second half as well, facilitated by the likes of Theodore and Chappelle. Difficult night inside for Gaspar Vidmar, able to get that one to go down, but his team able to survive him only scoring three points. That was one from the outside for Chappelle. Yancey Gates with one of his seven assists, moving it on to the number seven, Tyrone Nash, who had a good impact in the second half. Nash finished with eight points. Jordan Theodore was far from spectacular, but his stat line just crept up steadily throughout the course of the game, finished with 15 points, six assists and six rebounds. It was uh, in the second half that Bamvit started to show their extra quality, Theodore nailing one from the outside. And they outscored their host, Naharia, 18-9 in the fourth quarter that really did the damage they'd led by four at half time by four at the end of the third as well but Naharia perhaps on their first European night in over a decade feeling the pressure in that fourth and final quarter it's been a pleasure having your company for this opening game in the basketball Champions League it's the Turkish side who take the win Bamvit beating Naharia 83 to 70